Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export an interactive PDF directly from Figma using the Pitch Deck plugin. Uh, so the first thing we need to do if you haven't already done so is jump into the Figma community and search for Pitch Deck. Um, so that's P-I-T-C-H-D-E-C-K, one word. And you'll see a result called Pitch Deck Presentation Studio pop up. Um, if you have already, haven't already installed it, on the right hand side over here there'll be a button that says install. If you click on that uh, and you'll see it change to say installed. Uh, once you see that, you can jump back into your project and we can get started. Uh, so today, today I'm just using a simple uh, presentation deck design. Um, I've taken this from the Figmatic templates website. So if you go to uh, figmatic.com forward slash templates, uh, you'll be able to grab some free presentation templates from there. So today I'm just using the wellness template, uh, which you can duplicate from the website if you want to follow along with this tutorial or you can use your own deck uh, and do it that way, of course. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is just right click anywhere, go down to plugins and click on Pitch Deck Presentation Studio. And that's just gonna open up the plugin that we just installed a moment ago. Now, if, you, if you're new to the plugin, uh, there's some other tutorials on our YouTube channel that you can follow along with. Um, but today we're just gonna be focusing on the URL and slide links tab in the right hand column of the plugin. Uh, so the first thing to note is you can apply a link, a slide link or a URL link uh, to any child of a layer uh, of your frames. So if you open up your frames panel, you can see here we've got all these different frames and they have different children. Uh, so for example, if we go down to frame six or slide six, uh, you can see we've got two different elements in here. We've got uh, an image and we've got a text panel. So what we can do if we wanted to is add a link to any of these elements through the plugin. Um, so for example, if I wanted to link this image to a different slide, I can click on this drop down list. I can see a list of all of my slides in my presentation or my, my Figma file, and I can click on any of those to link to it. So if I wanted to link to slide 13, I would just click on this option. And now that image has a link to slide 13 on it. Uh, likewise, if I wanted to link this other panel to a website, um, for example, I could grab the templates page that we just uh, grabbed this file from. So I could copy that URL and I could paste it onto this frame. And that would now add a link uh, onto that frame, which links off to the website we were just looking at. Um, so you can go ahead and do this to any element, uh, any child element of any frame that you've got in your file or your presentation. Uh, so for example, you could link uh, the welcome message to a different uh, frame. So we could just link that directly to the next slide. So we're on slide two currently, um, which is why we can't link to it. Um, and we can just link that over to slide three. Um, so this would be an easy way to kind of add uh, calls to action or links inside of a presentation deck uh, or a PDF deck um, that you want to link to other frames from. So for example, uh, this little uh, app mock-up here, which has got the start button on it, uh, perhaps you'd like to link that to a different frame that actually has uh, the next the next part of that design that you could look at. Um, so that might be on slide 14, for example. So I'm just gonna click on that. And I think that's enough links to get started so we can uh, see what that actually looks like in a PDF export now. So once you've set up all of the links that you wanna add onto your frames um, for your interactive PDF, you can go ahead and export that by clicking on the export presentation button in the top right hand corner of the plugin. And we wanna change the presentation export format by clicking on this drop down list here and going all the way down to the bottom to the PDF deck option. Uh, here, I'm just gonna leave it as 150 DPI quality. Um, you can go up to 300 DPI if you wanna print resolution deck. Um, 150 is really good for screens, so I'm just gonna leave that there. Uh, you can add a password to the deck if you wanted to, um, but I'm just gonna leave it uh, as is for now. And this vector path option, you can just leave disabled for now too. Um, so I'm going to click on export to PDF and this is going to go through all of the frames in my deck um, and it's going to generate a compressed PDF file for me and once it's done it's going to ask me to download it to my computer. So it's just finished creating the interactive PDF for me. I can now download it by clicking on the download your PDF file and that's just going to let me download it to my desktop so I'm going to click save and you can see up here we've actually got the file on our desktop now. So I'm just gonna, just gonna double click on that to open it up in the regular preview app on Mac. Um, I'll just scale that down a bit so we can get a good look at it. 
Okay, so we can see here it's exported our entire deck uh, as an interactive PDF. And if I scroll down, uh, you'll notice that if I hover over this area here, um, you'll see there's a little tooltip that says go to page three. So if I click on that link, it immediately jumps me over to page three. Um, so we haven't added any links to page three, um, so we can select the text and, and that's all fine, but there's no link on this page. Um, but if you remember, we did add a couple more links. So down on this uh, frame here, we added two links. So if we again hover over them, you can see on the right here, we've got a tooltip that says go to page 13. Uh, so I can click on that and that immediately jumps me down to the page 13 that we linked to. Um, and we also added another link to a website uh, as well. So I'm just gonna scroll back up to there. And if I hover over the left-hand side, you can see that the tooltip is different. It's saying that it's gonna link me to figmatic.com's templates. So I'm gonna click on that. And you can see there, it's opened up my browser for me from the PDF and it's gone to the URL that I added um, in the plugin. So I'm gonna scroll down again and I think we added one more link to the app home screen. So again, you can see here, it doesn't link outside of the app uh, home screen design. It only links on that square or that rectangle area uh, that we specified in the plugin. Um, so if I click on the start button or just this entire uh, anywhere in this image, click on that. And again, it links me to that same slide um, in the deck with the, the next screen of the app. Um, so this is a fully interactive PDF. You can send this to anyone. Uh, it doesn't really matter what software they're opening it with. Um, these links will, will be contained and they'll be, they'll be clickable. Um, so yeah, it can be really handy if you're putting together a deck um, that contains a, a mock-up or it contains um, some sort of flow that people can actually click through. Uh, it can be really handy. Or if you just want to include links to um, URLs or external URLs, if you've got some references or something in there um, that people can look at, that can be really handy um, as well. So I'm just gonna close that off now and uh, go back to the plugin. And uh, of course you can, you can edit these. So if you reopen the plugin um, and you wanna export another interactive PDF um, from Figma, you can do that as many times as you want. Uh, all of your links will be saved. So if you click back on any of those frames, jump back to the URL and slide links tab, uh, you can see here those links have been carried over um, from the last export. So we can go ahead and change those if we want. Um, and it's worth noting if you do wanna remove any of those, um, you can just click on uh, the top option, which is linked to an external URL. Um, and then just, just make sure the, the import is actually um, clear. So if I wanted to remove the link there, I'm just gonna select that text and remove it. And now that will have no link um, on either of those parts of the frame when you go to export your next ex uh, interactive PDF um, from Figma again. So that's just the way you can clear those links if you decide you don't need one or you just wanna get rid of it. Um, that's all good as well. Um, the other thing I wanted to just quickly note too is if you do link to a, another slide, so for example here we've linked to slide 13, uh, which is the next slide. Um, if I go ahead and remove that slide from the, the deck, so for example if I uncheck that, um, you can see here it's automatically uh, removed that link um, from, from the actual uh, element. Um, however, if I enable that again, um, it, has, it has saved it behind the scenes, but it just won't be included. Um, so if I, if I do strip that out now, so I'm just gonna uncheck that from the entire deck. I'm gonna leave that as is, and then I'm gonna export another interactive PDF by again, clicking on the export button, going down to PDF deck, exporting the PDF. And this time uh, it should export the PDF without that frame, and it should also not include the link uh, on that element. So I'm just gonna reopen the new interactive PDF that we just exported, scroll down, and you can see down here, this um, element, which, which we did have a link on before, is now completely static. It doesn't have any interactivity or any links. Um, and you can see here, it's skipped over the frame that we excluded. So this time it didn't include the uh, app mockup that we saw last time. Because we unchecked it in the plugin, uh, it's completely removed that from the exported deck. And, and therefore removed the link um, from this element because there's nothing to link to. Um, so that's just something worth keeping in mind if you are kind of doing that. And um, just the very last thing I'll show you somewhat related to that as well uh, is uh, the way that the, the links work too. So if you, if you go back to the slide links um, tab, 
And in this last example, I'll just show you, show you what I mean here. So for example, if you link to, uh, let's say slide seven. So we've linked to slide seven, uh, which we can see is the number um, there. And we've also got the frame title, uh, which is important to note in brackets. If I go ahead and now change the order of this slide. So if I make slide seven into slide uh, nine, for example, you can see here that it actually changes, um, it changes the number of the slide that it's linked to, um, but the name of the slide is actually uh, kept the same. So, so it's just a, a little bit of a note um, in case you are moving those things around, it's totally fine. It'll keep those, those links, um, but it'll keep the link to the frame itself uh, that you originally linked to, not the number. So um, it's just a small, small thing to note. Um, it's, it's a good thing. It means it's gonna always um, keep those links to the actual content that you linked to. Even if you go ahead and change the order of them, uh, the content that you originally wanted to link to itself uh, will be maintained. So, um, so yeah, if you are including those uh, frames in your, into your interactive export, um, those will be kept even if you move around the order um, or remove those uh, references, they'll, they'll all kind of be worked out by the plugin. So yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on this. Um, it's a brand new feature that was uh, highly requested. So um, this has just been added to the plugin um, just this week. So yeah, I hope if you've been wanting to export interactive PDFs from Figma or add links um, between slides um, to, your, to your decks and export them as interactive PDFs, then uh, you can now do it using the, the Pitch Deck plugin. Um, so yeah, I hope if you've been wanting to do this um, or if you've been waiting for this feature to drop uh, in the plugin, I'm happy to say that it's, it's finally here. So if you do use it, um, I hope you have some success with it and please stay tuned for more because we'll have more tutorials uh, just like this one coming very soon. So as always, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.